everybody. Uh, welcome to a special episode of Guild Wars 2. Um, we are doing a winter's event. As you can see, this is not Jessica. This is actually one of my main characters on this game. And this is my warrior. He is max level. He is level 80. So, winter event's up. It's going. So, let's go have some fun. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's say, uh, let's do the jumping puzzle. If I can remember which one that one is. Oh, that's over here. Um, there's a jumping puzzle. Um, you collect snowflakes in this. So, I find this actually pretty fun. So let's go to the jumping puzzle that's in this game. Um, it took me several attempts to get through it because I kept messing up. You fall, you start back from the beginning. So uh, I believe there is a time limit because when I was playing it, I derped so much that, yeah, <laughs> kept falling. As you can see, there's the trails. There are three different trails. They all lead up to this one Christmas present area. And your goal is to jump into the Christmas box. Right here, it gives you quick instructions on how to do it. Um, the uh, Quargon path on the right is the easiest for trainee jumpers. Snowman path, the center, is at a normal pace. Gingerbread path on the left is most challenging. So, you start out in the center. That's the easy. This is normal. And that's expert. Let's try normal. And it is... Snowflakes can disappear on you. So, um, <laughs> I fell. Okay. Um, as you can see, you take damage in uh, the cold. So, there is a resting point in this. Ah! Fell in that candy king. I will get the normal done. I will graduate from rookie to normal. Almost missed that jump. So you kind of do want to get to the rest area. Ah, I thought I could get that. No, I have to jump on that other one. Like I said, I won't do the rookie one. I'll give you guys some entertainment on this. Like I said, in normal, these snowflakes will start disappearing on you. So, I'm not the best at jumping puzzles. But I don't think I'm that bad at it, so... Ah! I'm probably gonna go silent, try to get this. It's nice that they put three different difficulties on here because some people who are not real good at jumping puzzles like, as you can tell, me. Um, you know, gives you an option to at least complete the course. Alright, I'm giving up on that one. We're going to the rookie. I'll be a rookie. Here it is. This is the rookie course. 
you'll see it is a lot different of a course so first time I played this um, yeah cannot get past the snowflakes so my goal is to eventually get the normal path done Now see, I don't like it when other people are jumping with me because it throws me off my game. As you see, gotten a lot further than I normally would. Now, the time limit is your health. Just remember that. You are taking damage the whole time. You are here. Now, I did learn a secret. Now see, I'm it there. I did learn a secret on this one. Hopefully you can do it and hopefully my space bar counts. Ugh. See, there is a timer up top too. I keep forgetting, you gotta go this way. So you can get up, uh, supposedly. You can supposedly get up there. I'm gonna go up here on this. Surprised I didn't fell. Usually I do fall. When I get hit, luckily you can get good. And you can bypass it. Look out for those rings. They do are throwing some things at you. And I died. <laughs> As you can see, when you die, you start all the way over. So... See, we can get back up there. As you saw in the presence, just keep jumping straight down the center. I find as long as you keep jumping down that center, you're good. Um, there is a gap, so you gotta make sure you jump at the edge of that present. Um, after the snowball avalanche thing, we were actually almost at the end of the jump puzzle. So. Let's see if I could do this for you guys. And see, those presents do disappear, so you have to watch. Once they start disappearing and you're here, I would wait until they come back. As soon as they come back, we're going. And that's it. See, I didn't turn off to the side. Um, I'm gonna go up here, wait till the snowball passes. Go down here, jump out of the big peppermint. About it's over here. We're going to run up the big peppermint, run down, then we're going to wait right here. Let that go, and then what you want to do is get up to this blue present. Woo. And then just Follow the brew players it and jump in the big one. There you go. That's it. That's the whole jumping puzzle. And then once you get done, you come up here. So. And we're going to go back to the starting area. And I am going to try the normal mode again.
All right, we got about four minutes left. Ah! All right, we're calling it there. I ain't gonna try that one again. I am trying that. But see, as you can see, there is a jumping puzzle in this. Um, so you can keep going at it until the time limit's up. Um, it is a pretty fun one. I enjoy that. It's not as hard as, well, uh, the other one. Um, my thing won't load now. Great! Um, it's also a tree over here. Find presents around the tree, go ahead and grab it. And let's see if we can't get that to restart. But there is one event that you follow the present giver out. Of course, here's some of the vendors. Your vendors are usually right here. This is in Divinity Reach, by the way. Uh, legendary chest shards. So if you're going after your legendary weapons, crafting stuff, you can get them. Transmutation charge. But yeah, they take snow diamonds. It's a thousand uh, snowflakes. And then this one. He gives away weapons. So... Actually, more like uh, skins, but there are also weapons. Takes 10 snow diamonds and four gold, no matter which one you want. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting until that one gets popped so we can get that one done. And I'll show you how that one is. It's a pretty long one. The snowflake, see? Thousand snowflakes, you get a snow diamond. And if you got some of these other ice things, you can trade them in to get snowflakes as well. Um, keep an eye on that. Uh, this is your crafting recipe. So, as you can see, get your insignias. Winter's Day rewards. This is where you get pets. Uh, pretty much other things, too. Snowballs, colored snowballs, don't get the yellow one. And this is the Winter's Day's gifts. If you've got a lot of karma, which I had over 200, you can buy Winter's Day's gifts and crack them open. And this is more like uh, devices and uh, accessories you can get that's uh, exclusive to the uh, Winter's Day event. Um, okay, I don't see him popping. He's probably on rest right now. Because there'd be a guy right here, a uh, doylek, that you'd have to follow around. And what's this guy sells again? Yep, this sells uh, gift wrap or wrapped gifts. Um, I do have uh, wrapping paper. Uh, you can pick that up at the market, or you can pick it up at Karma right here. But then you also need ugly wool, wool sock and all these other stuff that I am assuming you get in the Christmas gifts. So, um, let's go down here. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. It popped, it popped. Pretty sure it popped. And see, people put out food for you to eat. Basic social interactions. Uh, donate. Yeah, sure. We'll donate. We'll donate one gold. Standing by for input. Small talk initiated. Once this gets done, you then gotta follow the uh, Doyak on his trip. Now he will drop presents and everything. All right. Now we gotta follow it. Follow it to collect gifts. Now you can uh, donate copper, silver, or gold. And you just gotta follow it. He drops gifts, you pick them up, you get gifts. 
And then, uh, you sit there, you open up gifts. Goal is try to get a thousand snowflakes, really. Try to get some, uh, snow diamonds. Now, if you have a load of karma you can't get rid of, this is the perfect way to get, uh, rid of the karma. Snowflakes are useful even after this event, because in crafting, yeah, you use it, I'll use snowflakes a lot. In crafting, but you know what? I might check in and see uh, if I can just buy a bunch of snowflakes. Huh. Yep, we just go around and you kick them. That's it. See, most of these people are bringing out weapons, you don't use a weapon, you kick them. Stop the spray. And you just keep kicking them away. Keep them away from the presence. That's the whole goal. You need this dude to get there safely. Someone right around in their bill turtle. Yep, just keep going around kicking the scrits. Get this guy to his destination. Oh, he dropped a gift. I'm thinking the better you do, the uh, uh, more likely he is to drop a gift. And I'm thinking building snowman helps out. Straight away. Keep the squid away. Come on, get the squid out. Alrighty. We don't drop any more presents. Uh, I think we did terrible. Oh man, look at the health. Yeah, I think we did terrible on this one. Magic snow. We'll probably go in there and build another snowman. No, this ain't frozen. All right, let's go build the snow. Get away, get away, get away. You wanna build a snowman real quick? Keep an eye on him. There, got a snowman. Go. Ah. He has to be right there next to that vendor. Huh. Crash master, ladies and gentlemen. Huh. I like it here. I miss home. Sorry. Assistance required. Spring power attacking. I don't want to see the land of your ancestors. So, let's keep the squids away. <laughs> Grassmaster says hi, everybody. It's right down there in my chat. So he must be on doing his stuff, too. There we go. Done. Oh, where's the victory celebration? <laughs>